Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika and this is Check the Rhymes. I am super excited that you're here. As always, thank you for joining me. Y'all, do you remember the game Tetris? I can't be the only one that used to be spending hours and hours and hours on that darn game. But I know y'all are like, what, what does this have to do with anything? I'm getting to that. So one of the developers of the game, there was some kind of weird circumstances around his death in the 90s. And so there's a three part series called The Tetris Murders that premieres on Monday, December 5th at nine o'clock on the ID channel. And then it streams the same day on Discovery Plus. So y'all, this, this murder mystery is literally like Tetris. It's like puzzle piece after puzzle piece. So anyway, in the house today to talk more about the case because she was actually there investigating it at the time is retired Lieutenant Sandra Brown. She is a former CSI tech investigator. So stay tuned because you don't wanna miss what she has to say about the case. Hello, Shamika. Hi, Lieutenant Sandra Brown. Welcome to Check the Rhymes, how are you? I am, um, it's early and I'm happy and I'm happy to speak with you. So when I, this came across my email, I thought, oh, Tetris, that was my jam. Never got to finish the game, but that was my jam. So I was curious if you ever played Tetris. Of course I played Tetris. Now I'm, I'm a bit older. Uh, my children played Tetris. I played with them, you know, and I loved the game. It was very interesting. And, it, and you know, this case is almost like a Tetris game. The pieces fitting into each other. Right. So for the people that don't know, you know, and I know it's called the Tetris murders, but and I didn't even know about any of this for the people that don't know and hadn't heard about it. Can you just kind of give us a little bit of an overview about what the Tetris murders are? OK, so this case occurred in 1998 in September of that year. And one of the developers of the Tetris game, an early developer, Vladimir Pokilko, apparently or allegedly killed his wife and his son, his son was 12 years old, um, and then committed suicide. So we responded to this, uh, this scene. I was uh, maybe a detective at the time, but also we, we wear two hats. And so I was also a crime scene investigator. And so mm -hmm. along with myself and my colleagues who were crime scene, our job was to go in and collect evidence of this alleged crime. I have to be honest with you, Shamika, when I first walked in and I started looking at the scene, it was a little unsettling. I mm -hmm. didn't think then that this was a suicide by this man. I didn't think that he killed his wife and son, and I didn't think that he killed himself. Wow. Wow. I'm getting chills because I, I just, you know, just even the previews that I've seen of this, I was thinking like it, nothing was out of place or it didn't, well, just me kind of looking at it, I thought, well, what? I don't know, were there things that when you went back to look at this case, were you mm -hmm. thinking like, this didn't show up back then, but now I see this now, so this is making sense, like you said, a, a puzzle piece, like Tetris. So, <laughs> yes, so when you watch this, you're gonna see, I'm, I'm not animated on purpose, that's just who I am. I was surprised yeah. by some of the things that I learned in that case 24 years later. I mean, like literally shocked by things, okay? So if you have a case and there's one strange thing, okay, that's okay. Maybe I'm, I'm wrong, but when you have like three, four, five, six things that are strange about a case that you worked on 24 years ago, that starts to make you think like maybe what you thought then is solidifying what you know now. Mm -hmm. I, I am even more sure that he didn't commit suicide and kill his family. I, I am even more sure that maybe we had a triple homicide. Now, I don't want to mm. give away anything. And as you as you say, and you, you watch some of it, I, I want people to come down this path uh, slowly but surely watching what we discovered that we didn't know 24 years ago. And unfortunately, this was a, a heinous crime and a child was murdered. And so I don't want to mm -hmm. get excited about that. But what I want to get excited about is, you know, some things changed in my mind about this case that I didn't even, well, it didn't change, I didn't even know. But I, I'm, I'm pretty sure now that I, that I know this man didn't commit this crime. Uh, and there's all kinds of hits in there about Russia, Russian mafia, you know. Oh, wow. That's, that was exciting to me. Now, I don't know if you know this, but Tetris was a, a game that was uh, developed in Russia. I and did that, not this, know that. Yeah, I didn't know that back then either. Um, you know, when my kids were growing up, I didn't know that. But 
uh, Mr. Papilko and his family moved from Russia. They were a Jewish family. They moved to Palo Alto. Palo Alto is the gateway to Silicon Valley, so what a perfect location to move to for this development. Mm -hmm. um, they lived in a community. It was like it was not a, a purposeful Jewish community, but there were uh, there were families within his community that were Jewish that told us, no, there's no way this man killed himself. And then this was a, 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 a Russian mob hit. And um, if you look at the Soviet, the old Soviet flag, uh, the old mm -hmm. Soviet flag had a hammer and a sickle. You know, it was like in a circle. And right. uh, he, his family was killed with a hammer and a knife. Ooh. They said, that's wow. a clue. And I was like, wow. And then I found some other things out during the investigation with the uh, FBI that they had a, a unit that was looking into Russian racketeering that was involved in our case. So that, that was, I didn't know that in 1998. And I, I found that wow. out, you know, more recently. And I was surprised by that. All of the things that we discovered led me to believe and trust what I sensed then. I still mm -hmm. believe today that this, this crime didn't occur the way it looked like it did. Now with a case like this that, and I know I've seen it many times, I used to work in TV news that, you know, years later, you know, when there's a breakthrough on a case and then there's an arrest made, do you think, and, and I don't know if it's part of the series, but do you think an arrest will be made? No, I do not think. Um, that arrest will be made. 24 years ago, I know, we, like you said, there are other cases where they can go back, yes. I don't think that we can go back on this one. And I, I, I won't tell you here why, because it's in the docuseries. You're gonna discover mm -hmm. some really interesting things uh, that will lead you to understand why we can't go back on this case, because mm -hmm. some information we just don't have anymore. And so that's enough said, I won't say anything else. You know this comes out on Monday, December uh, 5th on, um, um, on the ID channel, Investigation Discovery, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard yes. Time. I hope people come down this path with us, and I hope that the com community members back in 1998 that didn't think he killed his family, hoping that they will watch this and go, they know they were right too. Absolutely, and one, one other quick question. I just was curious if you knew this or not. Whatever happened with Tetris, the game, did they, did they just kind of stop with it kind of after his murder or? What happened? No. Or, so, or after his alleged murder, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you know, I, uh, I don't know. I, you know, it just kind of, I don't think that it stopped after, after this crime. I mean, okay. I don't even know, you know, it's funny, Shemika, that you asked that. I have never even looked it up. Is it still available? Are people still playing it? Everyone that I talk to about this case says they played it, you know, when they were younger or their kids played it. So I'm going to have to do my homework on that one. Yeah, I'm going to have to look because I love, uh, like, I've been playing Super Mario Brothers. So <laughs> I'm like, let me go back and look and see if I can find Tetris because I, I just oh, yeah. thought about it. Like, I wonder if that game is still out there. <laughs> it's old school. I hope it is because it was really a great, a great game. And I don't think that this case has anything to do with the game itself. He just happened to be a yes. co-developer. Yeah. So hopefully, my fingers are crossed that it's still out there. <laughs> Mine too. Well, thank you again for joining me today on Check the Rhymes. And again, the three-part series, The Tetris Murders, premieres Monday, December 5th at 9 o'clock on the ID channel. And it streams the same day on Discovery+. Plus. So I hope you have a great day, and I cannot wait to watch this series. Thank you, Shemika. Have a great day yourself.